After a few days of critical illness, children develop profound macronutrient deficiency, which may be associated with infections, delayed recovery, and prolonged mechanical ventilation. Enteral nutrition is the preferred method of meeting the macronutrient requirement. If enteral feeding is not possible, however, or fails, parenteral nutrition is advised. But evidence to support the timing and benefit of parenteral nutrition in critically ill children is lacking. In a multicenter study, 1,440 critically ill children from newborn to 17 years old, with 45% under one year old, who were admitted to the pediatric intensive care unit and at risk for malnutrition, were randomly assigned to either early or late parenteral nutrition. Early enteral nutrition was attempted in all patients, and they all received intravenous micronutrients and a similar volume of fluid. Analyses of the co-primary outcomes demonstrated that patients who received late parenteral nutrition were less likely to acquire new infections while in the intensive care unit and needed intensive care for less time. The mortality rates across predefined time periods did not differ significantly between groups. There were significantly more hypoglycemic events in the patients in the late parenteral nutrition group. Thus, withholding parenteral nutrition for one week in critically ill children in the pediatric intensive care unit, as compared with initiating early parenteral nutrition, is clinically superior, with fewer new infections and a shorter stay in the intensive care unit. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.